You just got your Logitech G Pro X headset and you're trying to use the Blue Voice technology for a microphone, but you don't really know how. In this video today, I'll show you how to set it up. Hey everyone, this is Orphan Wicked Cushions with another video and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Blue Voice technology that comes with your Logitech G Pro X headset. Now I did one of these how-to videos before and I got so many questions so I really really ask you that you stay for every step of this video in order to get the same results. If you skip one of these steps you might have some questions. So please stay to the end and then if you have questions don't hesitate to leave a comment and I'll answer them. Now for today's video you will need to download the Logitech G Hub and the firmware updater. I linked both of them down below in the description so stop the video right now go download them and come back three weeks later and by the way if the original ear pads on your logitech g pro x are not very comfortable and you're trying to find a better solution well it's right in front of your face these beautiful speed racer velour ear pads if you want to hear more about them stay to the end of this video and i'll talk about it and give you a special link now i'm going to move you to a screen recording that i made on my computer and i'll show you how to set them up and how to use this amazing microphone which in my opinion is one of the best gaming mics you will ever try. Let's get on to it. Okay, so as I previously mentioned, you wanna download the Logitech G Hub and the firmware updater. I give the links in the description that will lead you to this website right here. Um, it will automatically recognize your operating system and give you the right download for both of them. Then you wanna connect your headset. For me, it's the G Pro X wired, so I'm gonna connect the sound card and then I'm going to connect the cable into the sound card and the other side of the cable into the headset. After you do that, you open the firmware updater, you'll click continue, it will detect your device, and if you need an update, it will say it right here, and then you just click update. For me, I already updated earlier before this video, so there's nothing to be done. After you update it, you're gonna open the Logitech G Hub, and I did hear that some people have issues where the headset does not show up. So if it does not show up, let me show you what you do. I'm just gonna go to control panel. I'm gonna go to hardware and sound. You're gonna click on sound. And what you wanna make sure is that your speakers on playback is the Logitech G Pro X gaming headset are set as the default device. In order to set them as the default device, you simply right click and then you click set as default device. On recording, you want to make sure that the same is valid, that Logitech G Pro X gaming headset microphone is set as default device, and that should fix it. Also, one more thing you want to make sure is that the mute button on the wire, on the cable that's connected to the headphone, is not muted, that the microphone is not muted. So after it shows up, you're going to click. This is the headphone equalizer. I'm not going to touch on this in this video. I am going to talk only about the microphone. Now, I had a different issue once I got to the microphone. So once I got to the microphone, I had a little red alert icon in here that says input device not found. Even though my microphone was working, everything was working fine, I couldn't really do anything with the, with the microphone in the, the Blue Voice app. So in order to fix that, I had to go to the same thing, hardware and sound, and then click on sound. And then I have to go to recording and right click on the microphone with the G Pro X. You're gonna click disable. I'm not gonna click it right now because I'm using the microphone and it will stop talking as soon as I click it. But after you click disable, it's gonna disconnect you from the software and then you're gonna click enable and then you're gonna click a set as default device. And that fixed it for me. Hopefully it will fix it for you as well. So after we got this out of the way, this is the software. Now. A lot of, there's so much customization in here. I'm actually very, very surprised by the amount of customization there is for this um, microphone. It's very impressive for a price point of 100 and what was it, $110 or something like that. It's very, very impressive. This is my opinion, the best microphone I've ever tried in a gaming headset. Now I'm not gonna touch on each and every part of them, but I will tell you uh, the easiest way to get whatever sound you want. So most of us, uh, what we look for is noise reduction. We don't want to hear, we don't want to have people hear what's going on in the background. So for noise reduction, you're simply just going to put it all the way down. That's going to give you amazing noise reduction. It works perfectly. It really is. 
And for the other things, I am not going to mess around too much with them. I prefer to use uh, the pre-made broadcaster presets. I use TSM Speaker uh, just because it's my favorite player. Um, and that's what I basically use. But if you want to just play around and try yourself, what you do is you click here. You can record yourself saying something for 20 seconds. And then once you play it, and you start moving all of these little gauges in here, the voice will change live in live time as you move it. And it all it basically is a loop. So the recording that you start saying is gonna be a loop, constant loop, and you'll keep hearing it until you get to that sweet spot that you want your voice to sound like. Uh, for me, TSM speaker is enough. Um, I like it and I put noise reduction all the way down every time I play. If you have any questions, let me know. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if the original ear pads on your Logitech G Pro X are not as comfortable and you're trying to find something that is thicker, has a bigger ear opening, more breathable, and just plain out better and looks fucking sexy, if I might say, then I got the right solution for you. Wicked Cushions, that's what we do. We make replacement ear pads for a bunch of gaming headsets and the Logitech G Pro X is one of them. They come in various designs, various materials. As you can see, the Geo Gray right here, Speed Racer, Black Camo, we have a bunch more. And I cannot forget our beautiful cooling gel WC Freeze replacement ear pads that just came out and also fit the Logitech G Pro X models. All of our ear pads come with a 365 day warranty. If you don't like them, for whatever reason, simply shoot me a message and I'll refund you immediately. If you wanna try them out, click at the link at the top right corner right now or in the description below and let me know what you think. And that is it for today's video, everyone. I hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave comments in the comment section down below. If you wanna contact me directly, the email is in the description below as well. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every month. I will see you on the next one. Meanwhile, stay wicked, my friends.